Balance sheet example. The balance sheet presents assets, liabilities, and equity of a company at a given point in time. This could be the end of the year, in a calendar year taxpayer, or it could be a fiscal year end, something really random, like a March 20th year end. Some companies have different year ends because they're in a different cyclical business and it might be more relevant for them to have a year end at another time of the year. The balance sheet format follows the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Assets are presented in the order of liquidity, classified as either current or long-term. Liquidity meaning how fast can the asset be converted into cash. So cash being the most liquid asset, we would expect to be the number one asset on the balance sheet. As they say, cash is king. Liabilities are presented in the order of due date also in current or long-term classifications. This usually hovers around a year or so, but if there's a very unique business, what is current to one business and long-term can occasionally be different, just as like a cruise ship might take multiple years to build out a ship. O balance sheet. I'm ready for this. I highly suggest saving down the image and studying every single account that is presented in the flashcard or what was displayed earlier. Because I feel that memorizing this particular image and understanding the various interplay with different accounts and these core accounts will get you very, very far. The balance sheet is representative of the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. We know this man. I presented a horizontal balance sheet. So you can see how the debits and credits or assets equals liabilities plus equity are all balancing. You can also present it assets up top and then liabilities and equity at bottom. But for our purposes, we're gonna go big, big, big assets and then presenting liabilities and equity. Key to understanding the balance sheet is understanding the balance sheet language and the various different accounts. Accounts such as cash, AR, inventory, prepaid, expense, and investment. These are all just fundamental to understand what each and every one of these Coming into property, plant, and equipment, this will have a total here, P, P, and E. You're gonna have things like land, building, equipment, minus accumulated depreciation, which shows the amount of depreciation expense over time an asset has created. So if we purchase a million dollar asset, we don't just go run to the income statement and deduct a million dollars, we take it over time, referred to as depreciation. In the finance world or uh, real world of humans, people talk about depreciation as something as a decline in value over time. So they might say, hey, my car is really depreciated in value because that new car smell costs a lot of money. In accounting, it's more formalized. This gives a real nice general asset listing. We also have other. We can have intangible and accumulated amortization, similar to depreciation for a little bit more abstract value, such as patents, goodwill, things of that nature. On the liability side, we have our number one liability, accounts payable, bills, things are stacking up, notes payable. This is a sort of a general general debt, credit lines, things like that. We also have accrued expenses to be understood, accrued expenses, prepaid expense, opposite. Note, one's an asset, one's a liability. So you're gonna to wanna to have to memorize that. 
deferred revenue. Each one of these accounts is covered in a separate module. It's very significant, but this just gives you the lay of the land generally. And then you have shareholders, equity, or equity, or otherwise. Assets, liabilities, and equity. And these things are going to be like common stock, APIC, additional paid in capital, as well as retained earnings. Now retained earnings is going to come from our income statement, which is going to have our revenue minus expense. And this is going to connect the income statement to the balance sheet. The balance sheet is at a point in time, as discussed earlier, 12, 31, 2100. Income statement, this might be the year ended 2100. These are going to be current, and these are going to be more long term, depending on. Um, the business. If someone is in the business of selling land and they sell land every 90 days, then maybe land asset would be a current asset. So you have to see the various classifications. Balance sheet connecting to the income statement via retained earnings. A banker or anyone can see, hey, we might have profit or loss, highly profitable business, but if we have massive amounts of debts, massive amounts of liabilities, the balance sheet will show that. And so the business might not be as lucrative in this particular instance. Lucrative as in high value to buy if it's loaded down with debt. We look at our equity section to see what was going on in the prior, which is going to be retained earnings. Or if there's losses and accumulated losses, if the company pays dividends, that will also reduce retained earnings. So that has to be taken into account. Common stock. I receive a million dollars in investment, I issue stock. Pretty good deal for me as a company. Additional paid in capital loosely is um, excess over par value, technical concept, or just think if it's just a sole individual and they're just plowing money back into the company. Capital paid in. Accrued expenses, things that are building up, expenses that are building up, and that might not be obvious, like accounts payable that you have to pay out. Prepaid expenses stuff that you've paid ahead of time and you haven't used it, like a trade show expense, maybe a, a rental deposit, things of that nature. Balance sheet is fundamental to any understanding of a complete set of financial statements, balance sheet, income statement, statement of retained earnings, which is going to be, or statement of shareholders' equity, cash flow statement, and the notes to financial statement presented together. Audited financial statements mean it's looked at under the microscope by an auditor, presents all of the financial statements, balance sheet being representative of all the debits equaling credits, assets equals liabilities plus equity, all transactions recorded and hopefully reconciled to cash via a bank reconciliation. This has been the balance sheet example with accountingplay.com. Thanks.